What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fishing with Nordby. Out here on Lake Gunnersville today. It's me and Scout. How you doing buddy? Huh? Say hi to the viewers, Scout. He is doing good. He's my good luck charm. He's out here spotting the fish for me today. Super nice day out here on Gunnersville. It's 75 degrees. The water temp's warming up. It's about 70 degrees. And we're out here trying to figure the fish out. We're gonna be fishing in grass today. Um, the grass is coming up off the bottom, but most of it has not hit the top of the water. So, interrupting the video, I forgot to tell you guys some of the baits I'm gonna be using today, like this square bill. I got a really good deal on shopcarls.com. You've heard me talk about it before, but I'm gonna link it in my gear link down below. You can go to Shop Carl's and get good discounts, everything from square bills, jigs, swim baits, anything you want, top water, and traps and square bills I'm gonna be using today. That's where I got them, good discount. So make sure you check that out if you're in the market to buy some, and you'll get them a little cheaper. So just a little tip, but hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get back to it. Gonna be showing you guys what to do, how to trigger these fish to bite, but we're out here on the lake. Let's see if we can find some Gunnersville Giants today. It's just beautiful, God is good to us. Let's go guys. guys starting out on a flat I'm gonna be throwing this little rattle trap jerking it up and down out of the grass hopefully we can find us a few fish plane flying high up above one all right just number one power pull down let's go grass flat that's what I'm talking about come on come on with it there we go guys first fish of the day that's what I'm talking about a little chatterbait probably two two and a quarter pounds Decent guy though. All right, see you buddy. There we go. Let's get another one. Throw in the chatterbait. You've seen it before guys. Nate's custom hybrid vibe. Pairing it with a 3.5 inch jerky J swim. Man, this thing's torn up. Lead is about coming off. It's been thumping so hard. It catches all the fish. All right, let's get back out there. There's one. Smoked it. Let's go. Another one. Just put that sunscreen on my hands. About slipped off my reel. All right. Another one. Oops. Generally about the same size. Not too big. See ya. We're gonna get some bigger ones today. They're eating. They're eating. Scout. You excited? Yeah. There's one. Man, he smoked it, guys. He knocked slack in my line. I didn't feel him for a second. Jeez. That's how you wanted to eat it right there. Look at that. The whole chatterbait's in his mouth. Absolutely munched it. I gotta get my pliers on that one. Man. He really wanted that chatterbait. 
all the way down his throat. Another, uh, maybe two pounder. See, buddy. So I power pulled down in this spot and fan casted about another five, six times. He bit on like my sixth or seventh cast. And man, this chatterbait's getting torn up. They're still munching it. Let's get another one. Just caught the first three fish of the day on the first flat we stopped at. And we're gonna go to another flat now. We fished about 150 yards worth of grass and I power pulled down when I got bit and caught one in one spot and then two out of the next spot where I got bit. Uh, nothing else in between, so they're just randomly scattered. I'm just fan casting over this grass. Scout's like, man, you missed that 10 pounder that was in there. <laughs> but we're gonna go to the next grass patch here um, on down the lake, so it's not too far. You really don't have to go very far on Gunnersville. There's so many spots to fish and we could probably go frogging later tonight, but I don't know how long we're gonna stay out here. We got about two hours to fish today. Let's see if we can go catch some more. All right, pulling up on this next spot. It's a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna start out by chucking this square bill over the top of it. It's about eight foot deep here. And the last spot we fished was four foot deep. And the grass comes up to about four feet here. So I'm gonna throw this three to five foot diving square bill. Start with my rod tip down. If I take the grass, I'll start fishing it with my rod tip up just to keep it over the top of the grass. This little square bill is a good option for uh, deeper grass. starting to tick to the top of it. This is hydrilla we're fishing all day today. You gotta find the hydrilla or the milfoil, kingtail, that's where these fish like to live. There's a bunch of eelgrass on this lake, but they're not in that right now. I mean, they're in it somewhere, but not like they are the hydrilla. It's a little 1.5 square bill. I'll link it down below, great choice. Fishing in the springtime, rocks, bump it off stumps, Bump it off the top of grass. There's one. Smoked it. Not bad. Alright. One on the square bill, guys. Keep it real close to the boat. There you go. That little 14 inch or so. See ya. Not bad at all. Throwing the square bill on the edge of this grass. Reeling it pretty fast. Fish are active. Active and moving around today. There's one. So tiny, I set the hook and my rod just kept going. A little dink. <laughs> Put on a square bill, you can catch fish all over the country. But you don't want to hook yourself. He's got all three treble hooks in him. Alright. Oh, one came out. There we go. Yep, little guy. Let's get another one. Back to back. Come on. Caught some giants on square bills. There's one right by the boat. Okay. Man. <laughs> what do you think about that one, Scout? You almost got it. Back to back to back. Come on now. Woo. Back to back to back. Three in a row on a square bill. Glad I switched it up and munching it. It was too shallow over there where I started out to try the square bill, but now whew, we're in the right depth. It's seven foot. The grass comes up three foot, and this thing comes down to four foot nicely. The line's all twisted up. Fishman going nuts. I hope you learned a little something today about fishing chatterbaits and square bills. That's what we caught them on. Again, I'll link those down below if you want to check them out. But the little 1.5 square bill was really hot. 
on the deeper grass. I say deeper, really, it's like another foot or two under the surface. And I was just ticking the top of it with it, real medium speed. I'd tick the top of grass, and if it stopped vibrating, that, that told me I had grass on my square bill, I'd rip it out. And then if it'd start vibrating, I'd just continue reeling, and a lot of times that's when they'd eat it. Same with the chatterbait. I would tick the top of the grass, reel a little faster, pop it out of the grass, and that's when they were eating it today. So we caught some good two pounders and some smaller fish, no giants. The big ones should be uh, moving out. They're about done spawning. I think most of them are done spawning anyways. And they're either up feeding shallow or they're moving out to the ledges. So it won't be too long. We're gonna be ledge fishing here soon. So don't wanna miss that. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out three videos a week. Can't thank you all enough for watching. God bless you guys. Well, Scout and I will catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby.